went on a big mission today to keep kids in the classroom for school count day. But in Detroit, some students decided to skip school and protest. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden tells us about their demands. This protest has to do with the high levels of lead and or copper contamination that was found in the drinking water in several Detroit schools. And the students say they want answers. While some were protesting, volunteers were in Detroit schools trying to encourage students to stay in the classroom. Students were all smiles at Rutherford Wines Academy. A nonprofit organization, Horses Heal Hearts, brought horses and gave free riding lessons as a way to motivate students to come to school. Our goal is to make sure that every child is in school today. We want every child to come and get the education, and we're able to give it to them in the right kind of way. Not everyone showed up. Several Detroit students decided to skip count day. I'm really just sick of school and how they keep us in the dark and how there's no answers for anything. They're just band-aid solutions. The protest was led by the Detroit Area Youth United Michigan, a student-ran organization. Some of their demands, answers about the district's water problem and citywide water testing. I don't know what kind of effect that's had on me. Like, I don't know if there's any lead in my system. Like, I don't know any of that. And so it's actually kind of scary. There are people confused and there are people misinformed. We want people to learn, you know, how the schools can actually get money back if we don't come to school, um, what the effects of lead are, um, how you can test lead water. We asked Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti what he thought about the protest. I respect their voice uh, and their uh, position, uh, but as we've been communicating to parents in the community, we have a long-term solution to turn on the water, and that will be through the hydration stations, and we can ensure that children are safe when they drink the drinking water as well. The board will vote Tuesday on the hydration stations that the superintendent wants to put in every school. In Detroit, I'm Nia Harden, 7 Action News. Some caring people did.